Good morning. It's about 5 a.m. I can't sleep. Um, I went to my motility test yesterday, and um, that shit hurt going in. It was like this really long bendy tube, and they put through your nose and down your throat. And then on the screen, you can see what it looks like when you swallow. You can see the acid that's rising, um, all of that. Um, and when you're putting in this tube or the other tube, you have to like literally consistently drink water, like sip, sip, sip through a straw. And we know that goes against all rules once you have bariatric surgery. And also like with the bariatric surgery, you can't drink that much. Um, so it's very hard going in and then you feel like you want to throw up. Um, you can't see it. Um, well, my daughter said you can. I saw it in the mirror, but it's really hard for me to actually show you what it looks like. Um, it's actually kind of gross seeing the tube down the back of your throat. Um, but it's just very uncomfortable. I don't know if you can see it. Well, yeah, obviously you can see it. It goes around and it's taped and it's taped on my neck. Um, and so it's supposed to measure the amount of pH, um, in my esophagus for 24 hours and if you're gonna get this test done make sure you walk with kleenex your nose runs like a tap because there's a foreign object in it um so forever like it's kind of gross um and at the back of your tongue i don't know if you can see i know you can't see it it's you can taste it every time you swallow and if you breathe and swallow you can feel the tugging. It's kind of weird. Um, I haven't really eaten that much yesterday to today because um, it it tugs at food that's in the back of your throat. Um, sorry, I'm just turning it off because I had something to drink, and I'll show you that in a second. So this is the machine. Um, so anytime you take medication, you push the one on the left. If you, when you start to eat, you push the one with the knife and fork, and then when you finish, you push it again. Um, if you're going to lay down, regardless if you're sleeping, you push the bed one, and then if you have any symptoms, you push the one with the heart. I've had a lot of symptoms, um, because I have GERD. It's a part of what I'm going through right now. Um, and the other thing is, they give you a piece of paper. And you're supposed to track your starting time for eating, um, your end time, same thing for bed, liquids, for symptoms. I don't know how they expect you to do that, like 2 o'clock in the morning when you're sleeping. Uh, and you feel the gurgling going on in your throat. I don't know who's getting up to get the paper, get a pen, write it down. And then when it stops, to roll back over and do it again. Um, yeah, not happening. Uh, what I will say is if you're going to go get the motility test and 24-hour PHS, make sure you eat nicely the day before. Um, because this whole thing does not make you want to eat. Um, beware of people staring on the road. Try not to cuss them as you walk by them. Mm, you know, I had to say to someone like, dude. Do you want to know what it is? Just ask. Just ask. Because um, it's kind of crazy. Um, what else do you need to know? Feels like you're going to constantly gag. And during the test, oh, this was so hilarious. Um, they squirt some fluid in your mouth. And they tell you, take one swallow. You have something going down your nose, down the back of your throat. Your saliva is like constantly coming, constantly coming. They're like one swallow. Well, let me tell you, if you swallow twice, the time starts all over again. Um, every time you swallow. So try not to swallow more than once. It's really hard. Um, you can ask them if you can have a spit cup or a tissue to wipe the sal excess saliva. Um, towards the end of the test, they gave you, it tastes like, nasty vinegar um to see how that reacts and then um 
when they pull out the first tube, it's very, it burns. Like it burns your nose and your eyes start to water and you look like you're crying. You look like a hot mess. So don't wear makeup because they're going to wipe it off anyways. Um, and then once you get this smaller 24-hour tube in, um, they make you drink the same concoction of vinegar. That's what it tastes like to me. I don't know what the hell it is, to be honest. But it tastes like vinegar. So they make you drink that to test the machine and try not to puke. Yeah, that's all I can say is try not to upchuck. It's not cute. Not cute at all. Um, but I get to go back to the hospital in a couple hours to get it all out. So I can't wait for that because this thing in my nose is uncomfortable. I always want to blow my nose. And honestly, if I swallow hard enough, you can see it move. I don't know if you could see that. Every time I swallow, it moves a little bit. It's kind of weird. It goes up and down. Um, if you have any questions, holler at me. Deuces.